G'day, good and welcome back to Workers and Resources Soviet Republic with me, Jenny. In our last episode, we went and built a whole bunch of houses in Lycanstock. Just sort of doubled the potential population. There was one catch, that small catch being, well, I hadn't told people they could move into the house. Consequently, the houses are built, nobody's living in them. So we need to rectify that in today's episode. The other thing we need to rectify in today's episode is Uncle Vlad's rubles. I've sort of spent half of them. I've been going through Uncle Vlad's rubles, hammer of a sickle, and I sort of need to look into that problem because, well, there's not an unlimited amount. Yeah, I don't necessarily need to sell more stuff. I need to cut back on some of my costs. So that's going to be the main topic of today's episode. Also, at the same time, you know, there's a few other minor things we need to do. We extend out the train tracks, build some new things, start planning for a new city. Yes, we're going to be starting to plan for a new city, which is fine because, well, I have an awful large construction crew now. So new cities should be fairly quickly to put together, providing we get enough labor, which is also another problem I have. Uh, with the expanded town, uh, we also have a labor shortage. We have a labor shortage over in Gruel, so I need to look into that as well. But before we get to any of that, I need to ask that very important question. That very important question being, of course, well, can I borrow a like? I just need to borrow a like. I need to borrow a like early in the video. If you're not happy with the video, you didn't enjoy the video, that's okay, because the other thing we need to do is we need to put in another secret place, and they'll take care of it. They'll make sure that you did enjoy the video. All right, uh, we're going to start right here in Lycanstock. Lycanstock, uh, if I turn on my overlays, we need to do some over... No, oh, no, no, not that overlay. That overlay. Not that overlay. No, 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 oh, no, that one, that one. I'll get there eventually. Uh, citizens living preference? Adults 21. Adults 21 and still living with the parents. I have a lot of numbers here. I have a lot of numbers here. I actually have 200 and 300, 300 uh, people that are age 21 uh, and above and still living with their parents. So we need to rectify that. And the way we're gonna be rectifying that is by turning on these houses. If we look at these and we say free flats, uh, these are all maxed out. This one's not because I forgot to untick a box, but the rest of them are all maxed out. Uh, I'm gonna turn you on first, which should promptly fill up. And therefore, if we go back to this one, all these numbers should start counting down, which should be good. But, um, well, that holds 300 people. And yeah, you might fill out. You might fill out. All right. Whilst we wait for that, uh, can I also look at research? Research. There's a whole list of research. Okay. I haven't been getting research in any particular order. I've sort of been ticking off things as and where I want. Uh, but one I do actually want to grab is I want to grab chemistry. And that's going towards, well, us cutting back on our costs. We're going to grab chemistry in here. And in here, well, we're doing tourism analysis because I just don't care. Uh, yeah. All right. So back to this. Can I get 3,000 meters? Uh, you're mostly full. I'm mostly happy. Okay. I'm going to allow citizens to move in here and here. And here, and here, of course, and here, and here, and also here. Now, I also have a labor problem. And the labor problem is caused by, well, me. Uh, we put in, well, a hospital, which consumes 60 workers. Plus, I put in, well, a kindergarten, which consumes another 30 workers. So that's, what, 90 workers? And then a school, which is another 60 workers. So what's that? Uh, 60, 120 plus 30, 150-ish. And then I also put in the Soviet Mart, which consumes another 45 workers. If we add to that, you know, a, a basketball, a volleyball court, along with a volleyball court, we consume like 200 workers. Now, 200 workers doesn't sound too bad when you have a population of 4,000, except there's a catch. There's a catch. There's a small catch. And that is, I make sure that all the people in the Republic work three 10-hour shifts per day. Therefore, there's never a rest. So there's never a quiet moment. They all work uh, flat out, which means... It's not actually 200 people, it's close to 600 people. Which means over here in the wonderful grill factory, we have many, many less workers actually over here working. Like these were almost maxed out. They're much lower now. Sure, we're not doing construction jobs anymore, which was definitely chewing into our population as well. But if we look at our economy and trade, and we look at, well, let's go with last year first, last year. Uh, and I look at my exports. I sold, wow, like, Mm, 250, 400, 600, 600,000 rubles worth of stuff, okay? And then if I look at this year, we're more than halfway through the year, it's 20. Um, Because I don't have the labor. I just don't have the labor to run this at the capacity we were running it, at the capacity we were running it last year. Uh, on top of that, if we look at population statistics uh, for last year, we can see that, you know, lots of births, 
300 deaths, not ideal, not ideal at all, but 600 escapes. And this is because the housing was full. They had nowhere to live. Consequently, well, if they can't hang around the Republic, uh, they're going to try and escape the Republic. Sometimes they're offered a large price or a large sum from a neighboring state to, you know, go live in that state rather than our state. But realistically, um, yeah, I want to make sure that we don't have any escapes this year. We've already got 300 because, well, the houses were still full, but now the houses are not full. Hopefully that rectifies itself. But I have a worker shortage, as I said. I need many more workers. I also need that to finish. All right, uh, to solve that problem, I, I could go buy no more people. Okay, we could invite uh, immigrants at 4,000 rubles per 10 immigrants. That gets really expensive really quickly. But there's also another option, and that is to invite um, immigrants from the third world. That being, um, well, those from NATO, those that don't speak our, our wonderful Soviet language terribly well, those that are not terribly healthy, uh, those that are just, they're, they're a poorer class of people, uh, but they're cheap. So we're going to invite a whole bunch of those in. Uh, in fact, I'm going to fill out this house at 295. Now, there is a catch with that. Uh, like I said, they don't speak our language. So I have 240 people have no ed education. 50 of them did come with education. They have some sort of brains, but 240 don't. Which means this school, which had some children, oh, look, age 6, and there's an age 11 there, also has 30-year-olds in kindergarten. And their education level is 0.06. Now, every day they spend in school, it goes up by 0.05. So they need to spend about 20 days in school, which is a lot longer than an actual day. Timelines in works and resources are weird, don't question it. But eventually, they'll get enough education that they'll finally be able to actually join the workforce. You know, if I hover over this, it down says 8% unemployment. Uh, seven of that is due to, well, they're too dumb to work. Yeah. So it's going to take a while for these people to get educated. Also, as you can see, they're not very healthy and they, they're terrible sports, terrible everything. They, they, they're interested in religion. Ew. Okay, so our plan is uh, we're going to educate them. We're going to teach them the Republic ways. It's just going to take a little bit of time. All right, with that happening, uh, I need to... Oh, and I chose this particular house because uh, if we highlight over you, you can reach the new school and the old school. Which actually means the schools are not as full as I thought. Uh, we're going to spend more dollars, because uh, that's the other thing. This is dollars, not rubles. It, it's part of the money that Vlad didn't lend us, give us. We'll come back to that. Yeah, uh, it, it's part of the money that, you know, is so useless to us for right now, because I can't really get to a border to spend it. So we're just going to top those up and hopefully that'll solve our workers issue in the long run. Now, I do have a problem and that is the main bus stop. The main bus stop has, um, well, people living here that can't reach it. So we need to enable this bus stop and then I need to actually get buses over there. So if I go to this bus stop, uh, we're going to grab Newtown. Newtown! I want to grab this wrap. This is the one going to the heating plant. It's been renamed. We'll get back to that in the future. And I want them to rather than go to the like and stock bus stop, I want them to go to the bus platform. And we're just going to tick all the boxes the exact same, remove that, and say OK to the line. And that's just going to move them to there. All right. I also have a second one over here that goes to Build Norse. Build Norse is, uh, well, all the way over here and running perfectly fine. So there's no point taking those buses over there. But, like a group. Like Grill uh, does have a number of buses, and what I want to do is I want to pick one of them and oh, uh, go to the top list and tell them to go to the platform instead. Uh, remove the old bus stop, which will now make a whole new line. Uh, and tick those off. And then I want to put that over there. I want to pin that there. I want to pin that there. Uh, I want to go to you. Yep, you'll do. Uh, can I copy your brand new route to you uh, and also copy it to you? Okay, and this one we want to enable... Oh, I don't need to enable line spacing because they still go to the end platform and we can just get rid of all that. So that means three of the buses going to the Gruel. Now come to this bus platform, whereas the rest of them still come here. I it, it should sort of balance out the worker workforce a little bit better because some people are going to choose to walk to this bus stop. Some people are going to walk to this bus stop. I've got no control over that, so it's something I need to keep in mind. Uh, the other thing I need to keep in mind is I am slowly going through 
uh, like it's docked and upgrading all the roads. I'm going to try and get... I need to do... Uh, we can live without that trash for a minute. Yeah, all these buses are coming through here. Which definitely means I want to upgrade that road. Uh, can I enable all that? Yep, yeah, uh, I want to get that enabled. I want to get, well, these roads upgraded to asphalt if possible. They could all be accessed. They've, they've got to go all the way around, but it doesn't matter. That's fine. And um, I just want to try and get, yep, yeah, as many of the roads upgraded as possible. So, that's done. Next thing I need to talk about is, um, well, again, the overlays. Uh, if we go into overlays. Uh, building properties. No. Uh, citizens living preference. Government loyalty. As you can see, we have some loyal people over here. We have some loyal people over here. We have some questionable people over here. That is because the secret police station can't keep up. There are too many people, too many buildings, too many houses for them to install security cameras and listen devices into all of them. So what we need to do is we need to get another secret police. Now, getting it... Go away. Getting a secret police is easy enough. Uh, I can just copy the existing one and pop you... Come on, zoom in. All uh, right about. Come on. Yeah. Yep, of those. Uh, you do have access to this trash, which is going to be very, very important. But I also need to put another uh, item down here. Down here, I also desperately need to put in uh, sports, residential sports, a indoor pool. And the indoor pool has a road on a corner. And... Nope. That direction. And if I put you in exactly... Ah! If I have a free conveyor, uh, excavator, uh, can I... I do have lots of free excavators, except they can't reach. Can you move to there? And can you move to there? And then can I drive this truck to that depot? And you can park there for two minutes and also drive you to that depot. I need to remember to move them back. Uh, then we flat out this area a little bit. And then I can get a, a, a wonderful, a wonderful, uh, what was it? Heat a pool, heat a pool, heat a pool. That way uh, these people can get access to sports because sports around here is a little bit low. Just a wee bit. Uh, you can have a footpath. No, you can't have a footpath. That's the other thing I've been doing. I've been going through, I'm like, ah, you, you can have a footpath to go somewhere? We're going to give you a footpath. I do want to upgrade a lot of the paths to asphalt, but we'll get to that in the future. All right. Another thing I need to do. Oh, there's so many things I need to do. Uh, we have this wonderful crossing here. Now, this wonderful crossing here lets the right-hand track access, well, the right-hand track is where we go straight through, plus it access the middle, plus, plus it accesses the far left. Uh, it lets the middle track... No, it doesn't really let the middle track do anything. Yeah, it doesn't do anything for the middle track. Middle track can come in and out, but uh, the middle track is really just for the track builders. Uh, and it uh, lets the far left track be exited from the right-hand track, also exited from the middle track, and exited from the far left-hand track. And this is good and all, but it means that this is the maximum length of my trains. If I moved this whole confuddle here that lets them switch from track to track to track, to here, which is already in the intersection, then um, that would work wonderfully for me, and I could have trains that were slightly longer. So I want to do that. Now, it does mean that I need to have a situation where the middle train, because there could possibly be a train on the middle track, needs to come into here to either drop off resources or drop off coal or gravel there. On top of that, I need to go from the middle track out to the side, and I need to go from uh, this side. Oh my gosh. Oh. Nope. Nope. Uh, if only you look prettier. Uh, can I? Oh, I turn off snapping. Technically, that works. Okay. And I need to go from here to... Uh, yeah, it suddenly doesn't work. Okay. Can I have my tools? Can I cancel that? All right. Can I go from here? Here? Uh, to there. Okay. 
can I go from the top one to the bottom one? Okay, then I just need to go from the middle one to the bottom one. That is so horrible. Like, it technically works. It technically fills all my requirements. But oh my god, is that ugly. Uh, can I say no to that? Okay, let's start with a clean slate. Okay, can I go from you to you? Uh, can I go from you to you? Okay. Can I go from... Let's go from that one to there. No, 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 no. Uh, actually, that should be okay. Uh, F4 to turn on snapping, because sometimes it helps to get the mouse to move in the right directions. I need to plug in... Uh, 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 that one. That one, that direction. Oh. Eh. Oh, come on. Okay, you are going to be difficult. Can I cancel that one? Okay, can I go this way first then? Does that help my cause? Then... No. Off the top track to any up oh, that that's a little bit more chaotic, but it's sort of what I want. And then I need you to access one of these two. Oh come on! No, you guys need to get too far. Okay, you 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 had it. You had it. You had it. I saw you go green earlier. That's, that's even longer. Fine. Okay, that and that. Plus... No, because that now has a note on it. Alright. Can I do you? Because you're going to be the most difficult. The third, fifth most difficult. Okay, you go to there. You go all the way forward here. Yeah. Okay, then can I go from the bottom train track to the middle train track? That doesn't, doesn't look like it's the bottom... Oh, that is the bottom train track. Okay. To the middle train track. Turn off F4. Nope. Uh, crossing the loud. Yeah, I see that. Ah, ah, ah! There. Okay. And then can I go from this point to that point? As far as I know that works. We're just going to hit OK. We're going to hit OK. We're going to get the track builder on this job. Uh, it's going to be a nightmare. He's working literally inside a junction, which is probably a recipe for disaster. What are you doing? Nothing. Oh, you found the jobs. All right. So we're going to get that done. All right. Uh, back to this. I should be able to now put in my indoor pool and you need to go right in that corner and I need to see if you can get to that trash bin. Okay, and can I give you a dirt path as a way... Uh, no, no, that should work. As a way for the terrestrial crews to get in. Okay, I'm going to have that enabled. All right, and we're going to also have them asphalt that section. I don't know if that's going to cut off anything, but it's probably okay. Uh, we'll see. But yes, that should get that done. All right, so... 8% unemployed. But it's all stupid people. They do. Yep. There are some educated in there now. Uh, can I look up? Uh, bup, bup, bup. Uh, overlays. Uneducated. 133.394. Okay. Everyone on this side of town's educated. Everyone on this side of town's dumb. It's fine. All right. So. I need to get those things done. Oh, no, actually, there was one more. One more thing I needed to grab, and that was a gas station. Uh, I want a 60-ton gas station, and where we're putting you... Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Can I build that, too? Uh, because although I'm going and delivering fuel uh, into, well, the depots... I'm not actually, well, and also the end station. It means any bus comes through here it's automatically has the ability to pick up fuel if it needs to. But the ones going out to Bildenost, 
they don't have any way of getting fuel in town. That we do still have a free fuel station up here. Plus, I have another one over here. There it is. But I'd really like a fuel station in town as part of the permanent city structure. Okay. So with those problems done, I need to now look at our profits and losses because we're down to, like I said, we've been spending money hammer of a sickle. We're, we're down to sub 5 million rubles. We did make some money this month, which is nice. Awful lot of money. Uh, but if I look at doo -doo -doo -doo, economy last year, our only export, our only export is food and clothes. Okay. Really, that's it. Anything else, like I make some money from exporting fuel, uh, metal scrap, I some money for doing fuel for some reason, no idea why. Uh, biological waste, construction waste, they're actually profitable for you to ex export them if you pre sort the waste. The catch is mixed waste is not profitable and hazardous waste uh, costs you an arm and a leg. I should do something about hazardous waste. At least store it for, for, for now. I do get a um, waste. Dump free. Uh, stores 140 mixed tons. So I could put down five of these and just fill them with hazardous waste and then hopefully process in the future. Or I could have to force to sell it. But, uh, whoop. I'm clicking on, I'm just clicking on buttons. That's what I'm doing. Uh, last year. But our expenses, our expenses are nasty. So, uh, steel. We, if we hover over steel, we can see we had two large imports of steel. And they were probably filling up this thing because uh, this is like a thousand tons worth of steel. So those two large imports was probably just filling this up because, you know, it's obviously full currently. We might have spent some of it, but I'm willing to bet, you know, it was basically filling this up to full. But then our next major import is actually crops because we turn the crops into, into food and into clothing, which we then make money on. Like we made $400,000 but I, I spent $200,000 on crops. I'd like to remove that cost. If we keep looking down that list, we have chemicals. I don't, use, I don't use a lot of chemicals, but they cost me an awful lot of money. Uh, fuel, fuel I actually use a lot more fuel than I do with chemicals, but it costs me way less. Gravel, it's pretty cheap considering the sheer amount of, uh, that we're using. We do have plans for gravel in the future. Uh, meat, electronics, blah, blah, blah. Everything down this just gets either more complicated, I need more research, or did I... In Import. I imported ma mixed waste. I have no idea who did that. Somebody needs to be taken out of the back and shot. Um, so, what I'd like to do is I'd like to get in crops. If I can make my own crops, that would save me $200,000 or 200,000 rubles every year. Which is 200,000 extra rubles I can spend on things. Also means potentially if I make too many crops, I can sell them. So our plan is to get crop farming. Now, the good news about farming is we've done chemicals. Uh, can I do forest study? All right, the good news about uh, you living on this truck and you living on this truck and you lot moving back to here. The good news about uh, farming is it just costs materials. Okay, uh, it, 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 well, it costs infrastructure, it costs infrastructure. It doesn't need labor, which is good because I'm short on labor. So what I want to do is we have a new section out here, like Newtown, it's for Newtown. We'll get to a new town in a new feature, but we also have the more important vodka fruit farms because we need to make vodka fruit. So vodka fruit and all sorts of crops uh, require us to put down a field. We have a small field, we have a medium field, and we have a big field. So small field is, yeah, it, it, it's fine, it's fine. And then um, you have the, the one she says, is just a friend, just a friend, just a friend. And then you have um, mm, the Republic size. Obviously here in the Republic, we only make things Republic sized. We, we don't worry about the other ones. We, we, not you, we, no, no, not the one she says a friend, just Republic size. On top of that. Uh, farms also come in three sizes. They come in the small farm, which has six vehicles, very tidy. And then the medium farm, which has 12 vehicles, a little bit bigger. And then Soviet size. We're building Soviet size. Soviet size has 30 vehicles. That is uh, 30 either tractors or combines or covered hulls to go and tender all the fields. So we want a large farm. Okay, on top of that, we need a couple of extra things. So. We do have access to fertilizer. Now, fertilizer comes in two varieties. It comes in a synthetic fertilizer, which I don't have access to. And um, 
also requires chemicals. I don't really have chemicals. So we're not going to worry about that. Also don't have the research. We do have a composting plant, which will take our biological waste, which we are exporting currently. You know, uh, if we come in here and we look at last year, we see our exports. We are exporting 300 tons worth of biological waste that made me all of 400 rubles. I think it costs more in fuel to take it to the border. We can turn that into fertilizer. Now, as you can see, uh, on a maximum daily production, we would go through 30 tons worth of biological waste and 0.075 tons worth of chemicals, which is a tiny, itty, itty bit. And for our uh, biological waste, 80% of our biological waste becomes 100% fertilizer. The other 20% gets kicked out of the back as mixed waste of some sort, which I'll have to deal with. So what I'd really like to do is I'd really like to have a composting plant as well. Now, composting plant means I need to deal with waste, which means I need to bring in waste, I need to pull out waste, well, I need to bring in bio waste, I need to convert to compost, I need to hook the compost into the farm with a factory connection, and then also pull out my mixed waste. It's it's going to be a little bit complicated. It's fine. This is where the, you know, this is where the other half of the game starts. We, we've had the wonderful, you know, city building experience. It's when we start getting into the factory building experience. This is one of the things I'm really waiting for. But there's one more thing I need. We need storage. Now, I have been using warehouses up until now. We've, we've got a couple of these around the food markets and, and they do all right. And we do have one of these, you know, like a grill is based around one of these warehouses. Nice tiny warehouse. It holds um potentially a thousand tons worth of crops, but there's um bigger versions. It's really, really designed around crops, which is grain storage. And of course, grain storage comes in, well, you know, it's fine, it, it's 3000 tons. And then um, there's a slightly larger one at oh, oh, 5,600 tons, which as you see, lots of factory connections, lots of ins and outs, lots of things we can do. And then there's the, um, yep, yep. She says it's, he's only a friend. He's just just a friend. Don't worry about it. Just a friend. Just six foot four tall. It's just a friend. Like every good Russian. All right. Uh, so we have this one, which is, uh, I believe it's 8,000? 8, 8,000 tons worth of crops. But, um, is the big one the big one is uh 11,200 tons worth of crops and of course they all have variants oh i clicked too far cool the variants uh come with train tracks and as i'm already moving around the crops with train tracks we go for the train track version so uh we need to put together a farm uh, that has uh, our three main components being, well, four, 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 being um, crop storage hooked up via trains, lots of farms, lots of fields, a farm, and also composting. And our plan is to put it, well, right here in the vodka fruit farm area. So I need to work out exactly how this is going to go together, which means we need to build a little factory. So we need to start with the farm and we're going to put the farm. I'm going to put the farm here. We're going to put the farm here. Yep, that's where we're going to put the farm, right there. All right, with the farm down, uh, I need to grab our composting plant. Now, our composting plant, we could just plug directly in. And then I can have the truck to bring the biological waste here, drop it off, and then also come back and pick up the mixed waste and, and take that and go dump it, you know, at the border or whatever, whatever. It's a viable solution, but there's a better solution. Uh, under waste, we have different storages. Now, I have dumps, which is just, you know, it's a dump. It's 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 a, it's a dump where you can dump stuff. It's, it's nothing too special. Uh, and these do come with factory connections, which is fine. And I can filter them to one type of material. The problem is uh, you only have one factory connection and I really need you to take in biological waste, kick out fertilizer, and also mixed waste on one factory connection, which is not really designed to do. Not really with a with a dump. We do have different dumps. We have bigger dumps. We have a dump with a claw because, well, a normal dump, um, well, the dump trucks are very good at emptying it because they just lift up the back and everything slides out. They're not so good at picking up stuff like the mixed waste. For that, we have a claw machine version, which, you know, is handy. You get a little claw and it, it, it speeds up loading up the trucks. And then we have a bigger version, which at least has a couple of factory connections now. The problem is um, you're going to pull out one thing and then this is tied to... Uh, this is tied to a single type of item. So I can't filter it to have multiple different types of items. And then um, I have... 
well, a bigger version again, but this comes with train tracks. The other thing I actually have is a transfer station. Now, a transfer station is where it's really at for, for our particular use case. Because the transfer station uh, looks very similar to one of our garbage dumpsters. One of these guys. One of these guys. Looks very similar to one of these. Just has a whole bunch of, um, well, trays in there that we can just dump stuff in. Uh, can I get you, please? Uh... One twelve oh two. That's the one we've been using in black. It's your secret police, obviously. And can I take you up to forty percent government loyalty? And can I make sure that the fuel rats come visit you? That is connection number eighteen. That's definitely worrying. And you're good, and you have access to trash. Yes, one hundred nineteen meters. I'm happy. All right, indoor pool. All right. So the transfer station, I can filter each individual bucket. Which means I can set this up so it has, well, fertilizer and biological waste and also mixed waste all in the one building, which is perfect for our needs. And then, of course, if I plug this in, that factory connection means it can both take items in and push items out, which means I could bring in and dump my biological waste here and have it, you know, be sucked into there and then processed and then pushed back out and then the fertilizer could then be sucked in here and the mixed waste would sit in here and then i have to bring in a truck to, you know, to pick it up but it comes with one catch and that is it only has our stations for two vehicles to load and unload which means if i have one dropping off biological waste i can't have one sitting there waiting to pick up all the mixed waste because i don't want it to back up on mixed waste so we have another solution, another solution to our little problem, and that is a road cargo station. And I'm looking at this one. And the reason I'm looking at this one is it has room for four vehicles, which means I could have it permanently sitting there with a single garbage truck, picking up all the mixed waste as soon as it's made to take to the border, and then still have room for three more trucks to possibly show up at the exact same moment to drop off biological waste which we don't have currently, but we might have in the future. So this sort of future proofs us just a little bit. Uh, on top of that, we need to have uh, one of these things, which will then plug into a factory connection here. And you have one in, one out. That's fine. And then of course we have the farm. All right, the field, the field. All right, so uh, our plan is to not have that there and not have that there. And you can live there for right now. I need to put that over here, but I also have a train track. I have a train track right here. And my train track, I need to take... Well, if we bring up the world map... Yep. I currently have the train track obviously coming in. You're being stupid, aren't you? Yep. Go home! I left you unsupervised. I left you unsupervised being an idiot. Okay, you're gonna drive through there, and then you're gonna turn around, and then you're gonna do the next little repair, build, whatever. You're gonna be just as bad when I have to do the deconstruction. Uh, you should, after your tail gets in there, be able to exit? No, because you didn't move far enough in. You're gonna be stupid again. No, you're gonna use that track to exit. All right, uh, I have my train track. My train track comes in at the border here. And then our train network currently goes to the left and comes over here for future use. And then goes straight through. Uh... Engage rail further along. I think that means something else was on the track. That's why we have signals. Uh, I... Why won't you go in? chain because you're actually parked in the zone yeah you try and do a turnaround right there and you're sort of blocking yourself because the the, the the section's not long enough and um it's not designed for a short train to do a turnaround right in the middle of it yeah yeah you done i think you're done Okay, all right, what I want to do is cancel railways. Can I, I, as far as I know, it's all connected. Uh, all right, I need to change these signals to be uh, double chain 
double chain, double chain, and then we're gonna cancel. those two to start with yeah and can I enable that all right so track goes left track goes straight through but track does not go to the right I'm gonna want to build to the right eventually so what I want to do is I want to preemptively uh put in a track from here okay from here cool uh turn on the grid we want to go whoop whoop no, okay, and then you go slightly to the left. All right, I already ran the power poles because I need to, like I said earlier in the video, need to make sure that we get power uh, moved across the, across. I'm gonna need to get power to this roundabout and, uh, and in this direction in the future. So I'm gonna run uh, train track number one, train track number two, goes there, train track number three, goes there. Okay, I want to put in the train tracks. I need that much spacing. That's the required amount of space that I'm going to need. All right. Uh, next thing I need to do is I need to work out roughly where this crap's going to go. So, um, let's do a cop. No, let's put you. Put you, say, here. I don't know exactly where you need to go. Uh, actually, no, I need to work in the other end. I need to get a farm, 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 farm. All right, I need to have a bit of spacing. I need to have, I basically need to have the actual farm itself, uh, not facing towards the main road, but facing inwards, because we're going to be building this whole area full of fields. So I want to put you somewhere, but I don't know where. And I want it to be a certain amount of farms from the left or the right-hand side. Probably a certain amount of farms from the left. Yeah, let's go a certain amount of farms from the left. So, I want to have a dirt road that basically hugs this train track. Uh, can I turn back on the grid? Not so we have a grid line to follow, but more like we have a straight line so we can try and keep things um, true. Not necessarily straight, not necessarily right angles, but true. Okay, I want to put you there. So, I want to have... I need some amount of space. I'm going to go with three farms. Three farms is probably enough space uh, to do what I need to do. So I want to get a big field, and we're going to put a big field here, and then right beside it, and turn off the grid so we can actually see what the hell I'm doing. Uh, I need to rotate the camera, and I need to rotate you back, and I'm looking for that little corner fence line so I can put you up against it, and then uh, the next one could go there, and then that means I want my farm to be about here. Okay, so with that worked out, uh, and can I grab that? Um, Dirt road, dirt road, please. And we're going to come through here. Okay, you want to lock into this tile in the middle. So we're going to go there. Okay, that's my dirt road. That's my dirt road. That's my first marker. All right, with a dirt road and a marker in place, we're going to go in here. I'm going to go cone. I'm going to copy that because that's exactly what I want. And... I would put you there, but the farms that I put in are sort of like a test gauge are too close. So, farm, 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 go away. Uh, that's one hell of a gap between one and the next. Let's hope that doesn't come back and haunt me. Uh, clone that. Okay. I want to put you... Uh, about... Here. Cool, that should give me enough room to do everything. All right, uh, we're going to, I still have one of those over there. We're gonna remove you, I'm gonna pick you up, we're gonna turn off the grid lines. I don't need to see them. And I need your roads to be facing this way. And then I sorta of wanna put you as far this way as possible. Uh, Cause I actually wanna get a building in front of you. Um, no, I need to flip you and then rotate you around so you have one factory connection there and two on that side. I'm going to try and put you here. Okay, so a couple of things. Uh, we had to look at it before, train track length. That's going to be very, very important. This has a train station length of 191 meters. So as long as my train is shorter than 191 meters, I'll be fine. Uh, I'm pretty sure my train is going to be shorter than that. So we're going to bring you out to, I don't know, there and there. 
and then the right goes to the right uh the non-right goes to the non-right and then from that section you, the right goes to the not right and then the not right goes to the right cool that's that little intersection put in now on top of that i'm gonna want to have a signal uh, about as close as damn well possible uh can i put a signal there and a signal there because i'm gonna straight away want to come off here and go in this direction and do the same right here because i want to hook up to those like rails and obviously the one on the left goes to the one on the left yeah about here cool and uh the one on the right goes to well the one on the right mm, yeah we see a problem okay can i remove that piece uh because there's also the middle track and the middle track needs to somehow get to there uh yeah because i don't want the middle track in the middle of these two to then split back out and then have a wide gap that i need to bend back together to get into the silo uh and then you need to go to well the mm, forward to there okay turn off the grid again and then we're gonna bring you to there yep and then the right track needs to go to the right br the right track which is now the middle track needs to go to the right so it's back on the right because the right is the right and then over there and that leaves me with a horrible horrible mess but technically it's a valid mess so we're gonna roll with it uh and then if i remove those and hook those together that becomes one giant train track and all i would have to do is signal the entrance properly i.e this is one giant junction and technically you don't clear the junction till you get to here and here so you guys are sort of useless in the middle uh okay does that shorten anything if i rip up that and i rip up that can i get you're gonna have to not be there but one pass there technically that's slightly better because then i can signal it like here um can i bring that back a third time and it needs to go one more uh can i no, go from there let me cross in the ladder it's literally just there okay now it's allowed okay can i go to there that way we're making that crossing even sooner yeah okay that's gonna be our little mutant intersection okay uh now this means that i have uh, a couple of things i need to work out so first off you being the, the composting station needs to have a road that goes to there and then straight across that because i have the gap from the power poles and i have the three train tracks in place already these roads can just pass straight over the top so overlaps the existing construction uh oh yeah there's a power pole literally right there yeah a bit hard to see but it's literally right there okay can i cancel road and can we come out a bit further and then dive for the main road uh get okay, cancel road can i come from here to here then and then do that cool and you know what we can do that one as well all right so i need all that okay there's two other things i need to do uh three other things five other things ten other things there's a lot of other things i need to do all right we have a transfer station uh no, we'll talk about that later. Uh, all right. Uh, other thing I need to do is I need to work out my farms. So we're going to have a little gap. We're going to bring our road out to here. Uh, we're going to chop you back. Wrong one, that one. Uh, to there. And then wrap you into there. Something like that. Uh, remove that and that. So you become one giant road. And then... Big field. 
and then no, I can't turn off that so I can hopefully see the fence line and big field and big field. New vehicle type. Uh, what is that? It is ES bolt cargo. Okay. All right. So nobody's got jammed here, which implies this works so far. Okay. Can I remove that? And then once that's done, I can remove those signals. And then we could possibly get longer trains. All right. Uh, okay, so I want to have three big farms. And then I want to continue my road uh, with a grid back on out to pretty much here. Uh, obviously, we're going to want to do a turn at some stage. But then I want to have farm here. And then... Uh, uh, again, it's seeing that fence line. It's just, it's so tiny and the fields are so big and hard to maneuver. And then it gets dark and everything gets so much easier to see. There, okay. So three fields, three fields. Now, in this gap, in this gap, uh, we could put in a medium field. Okay, medium field would here, fit here quite well. Uh, and in fact, if we come to here, I put down two medium fields side by side. Uh, there we go. Two fields, medium fields side by side. They're about the same width as a big field. And I could put, I don't know how many medium fields down here. Probably, mm, well, if I've got three here, probably six, maybe even seven. And that's not a bad idea. The catch is, well, it's more farms. It's more farms, it's more farm connections. My other option is I could just put in a big field. Now, there is a catch to putting in a big field. Uh, and that is, well, half the field doesn't get built. You are 3.09 hectares, and you are 1.57 and 1.57. And the, if I go to that side, uh, the two mediums are slightly bigger than a big. So I don't actually think we're losing out on anything. But what I am gaining is it's less physical farms. It's less spots that the tractors and the combines need to go to to actually, you know, get the farming done. Uh, I, I need you to hit, yeah, I need you to hit that road. You can't have a separate road connection. Okay, uh, so we're going to throw those guys in there. And it does mean that around here I need to put in a corner. We'll just cut you back slightly. Uh, I'll throw a road in something like that. And like that. And the good news is uh, farms cost nothing. So I'm happy to build farms all day long. All right. The other bit good, uh, the other bit of good news is I can get that started. Uh, can I get that built? Can I also put in a temporary road uh, through those train tracks and over to here? And we're gonna need a grain silo plugged in. Uh, let's go with a straight road in and out or vice versa. Uh, the other thing I'm gonna put in, and I'm just putting these things in for now, we'll talk about them later is I want a road cargo station here. And another one flip uh, here. And I also want a general cargo, a distribution office to slide in right in front of the silo here. I'd really like to use that same road node, but it's not going to happen. All right, there. Uh, can I then uh, get that built? Okay, can I get that built, that built? Because uh, we can build this one from that direction and this one from that direction, and then we should be good. All right, as for our train tracks, they're not done. Enable. All right, uh, that's been done, that's been done. I don't need that, I don't need that. I do need all this done. There are other things I need to have done. So uh, you require workers. If you require workers, you're also gonna require that I have, well, services. So the first thing, everything in this area is gonna require is power. Uh, so I'm gonna throw a substation uh, right here behind our train tracks. And we're gonna pop you here. Okay, I'm gonna give you a tiny itty bitty road from there to there. Uh, I also want to, as it's not gonna use a whole lot of power, we're gonna get a medium voltage switch five way, and I'm gonna dump you right about there. 
We're going to get the biggest wire I can and take this from there to there. Uh, plug you in. in tighter, 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 Okay, that and okay, that. All right, so I want to get this built. Also, want to make sure it looks like they came back and got unloaded correctly. Yeah, it looks that way. All right, uh, I want to get this built. Uh, so, we're going to take what's limited, what's left of my limited medium voltage I have in this area. I only have two more connections left. Bring it here first, whereupon I'm going to split it off and then take it into said tiny little substation. Okay. On top of that, need a few other things. Uh, because we have workers, we're going to need um, sewage and a switch. So, uh, number two, as always, uh, we're at 4.6 meters. I was smart, and I left a switch about here at 2.5 meters. So, anything is good enough. Uh, four, six, four, three. Uh, actually, can I do... That and that and that and that and can you enable that and that and I want to get all of that but I didn't want to do that train track. Spend please. Okay, uh can I do my Alright, I do wanna do I do need to 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 do bus stop free uh which I'm gonna be throwing in right there. Uh, actually... Can I put you further back? Yeah, okay, we're gonna put in a free bus stop there. I also need to put in the sewage, like I said. Uh, I need to be above two meters. Good news is right here is above two meters. And you can plug into one of those roads. The sewage tank just needs to technically go to this building but it never hurts to have more coverage you're at 3.5 you're at four meters 4.14 so i'm going to put you here and we're going to grab a large pipe and go from you into you from you into you okay uh and we can approve that all right next thing i need is going to be water water should be dead easy because it's pressurized uh, i can just put a water switch literally anywhere uh there and then my water substation is feeding one building so we're just going yeah yeah it should be fine actually uh, dump you there and plug a big pipe from a to b and then from c to oh do i want to Okay, we might stop and put in an extra switch uh, just on the off chance. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt to have an extra switch. It doesn't impede the flow or anything. Uh, and it just gives us a backup, a backup connection should we need another connection. So we're going to come out from there into... Into there. And then from there into there. And we're going to prove that too. And um, can I say okay to all of that? And okay to that, 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 and that. And that. Okay. All right. Uh, can I get a gravel road from there to there? That's super important. Uh, build. And can I also go gravel, 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 gravel to there? And I want all of that built. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, uh, you can go away. And you, 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 don't go away. And we're going to want to double up the farms. I'm basically going to put in an extra row of farms behind this. And then an extra row behind that as well. And with this road sticking out the top, I might just build farms up here. Because like they cost nothing to build and they also cost nothing to remove. Uh, but I need to have this done and then I need to actually activate the farm. Now the farm is going to take a while uh, on the fact that it's 117 tons of concrete. 
which just takes us a minute to do because you know each of the concrete trucks only move 10 tons worth of concrete but uh the grain storage is a thousand tons worth of concrete so it's gonna be a little while before we have this built but the good news is it's november it's about to snow which means nothing important is gonna be happening anytime soon uh also means that i can enable this construction and the track builder can come get this stuff done uh, i'm not worried about the power poles for just now and also means that if i remove you 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 and you and also you and you we can make this whole section a little bit longer for a little bit longer trains because you know you're doing coal whenever the grain train comes in here he too chooses for some reason to pick the station which happens to be the shortest so i want to rectify that i want to make sure that you know i have more length on all of them so we can sort of make bigger trains if we need to but uh, I'm definitely out of time. I definitely need to leave this video here. We definitely need more people. Uh, we definitely need more buses. And Gruel looks like it's maxed out. Uh, can I set you to 100? And... Uh, you can buy... Total capacity bus. Uh, one, two, three. Let's do three. And can I? No, nope, not you. Uh, you, you're going to like a stock rule. Uh, go, go, and go, go, go. Okay. Uh, go and go. And you're all going. Okay. Yep. Three more buses added to that stop. That should solve that problem. Uh, we do have a free bus stop down here to get people down here eventually. Uh, they should have city services or once everything's built, but um, we're going to be building stuff well into the next episode. So, I'm going to leave this video here as always. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode where we become a Russian potato farmer to make vodka. Vodka. In the distillery. Yep, that's it. We're out. Thanks for watching. See you next one. Bye.